What is up you guys and welcome back to another episode of Burton's Beard Reviews. My name is Scott, I'm a youth pastor, I'm also a husband and a father and I just want to say thank you so very much for stopping by and checking out this review and uh, if you guys like this review or if you like the content or anything like that, please consider doing the following like liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell and leaving a comment. All those things really do help this channel grow and I would really greatly appreciate you guys doing all those things if you want to but again it's up to you. But here we go, let's talk about the company we have here in front of us today. And that company is known as Lather by Giordana. And this company is based out of Jamaica and they have sent me over what is known as their starter pack. And so let's look at that. Let's unpack that. What does it mean for a starter pack? What does it look like? Well, let me show you. So they've given me three different accessories and they've given me four different beard products. The accessory, the first one is known as a bore bristle brush. If you guys are new to, you know, starting out your beard and trying to grow it out, uh, these guys are fantastic for helping you style your beard a little bit. If you have like more of like a business style type of beard or if you have like a little bit of a shorter beard, this is a fantastic ex accessory for you guys to be using on your beards. It keeps everything nice and down. It's basically like taking your fingers, but there's just because you're using that bore uh, bristle, uh, sorry, you're, when you're using the hair, it actually what it does is it really kind of like grabs everything and pulls it together very nicely and very softly. And I personally, I really do enjoy using tools like this especially for my sides right here, because I like to try and get that crisp, you know, line right there. I like to pull this in together so I can see, okay, am I missing something? Do I have a little bit of a wave? How can I change that? I think it's a perfect tool for that. But also too, I love using it for my mustache. It really is a nice, you know, therapeutic, <laughs> you know, accessory to have, uh, especially with that mustache, because those things can get a little bit finicky. The next part that they gave me, or the next accessory I should say, is they sent me over a double-sided beard comb. Now, again, I'm not not going to say that I, you know, was a big fan of this comb because I wasn't, but I still think it's a great accessory for anybody who's starting to grow out their beard. You got one side here, the top side that I would suggest is probably more so for, you know, like a mustache, just with like the finer teeth closer together. But then you have here on the bottom, you've got more of like your beard kind of comb. Now, again, I'm not a huge fan of wood combs because I find they absorb all the oils. They're more prone to break. Uh, and also to the odor of all the different oils, I think just kind of gets soaked into the wood. Um, the other thing that I'm not a huge fan of is just, again, this particular, like the, the depth of the comb. It's not my favorite just because my beard, I need something that gets nice and deep in there. And I also need to have a little bit more of the spacing. Now, again, that's just my personal preference. Uh, everyone's beard may be different. And if you're someone who enjoys this type of comb, or you know, if you have a smaller type of beard, this may be the comb for you to try out. But again, I really do like that they just even include that in uh, this starter package, because that again, it just hits off on all these different things that you don't have to buy. It all comes in one box. And then again, you can just start to learn to enjoy these things. Or if you want to improve, you always can. And it's just great that they added that in there. The other accessory that they gave to me was these pair of scissors. Now, I've been saying this to myself that I want a pair of smaller scissors because uh, I do have a pair of scissors that are a little bit longer, uh, more of like, you know, like a barber shop kind of uh, style. But I really do like these ones because they're perfect for traveling. Uh, I, I wish I would have had these when I was, you know, away on vacation in the summertime or even when I go to my in-laws and stuff like that. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh man, my mustache is all crazy. I like to have a pair of scissors that are just easy to use, trim up that mustache, make it look good. And again, these are perfect for travel, but they're also, they're great for just everyday use. Are they, are they like, the, like the best scissors ever? No, <laughs> unless they are like plated gold and like would never break. I, I'm not saying like they're cheap, but I'm just saying they're a good pair of scissors to have. And again, you're only gonna be using them maybe like, you know, once every, you know, every week or so. So again, you're gonna get some good use out of it. But that was the accessories. Now let's talk about these beard products here. So the beard products they sent over to me, I've got a beard wash and a beard conditioner. Uh, this was the beard conditioner. This is the beard wash. Uh, but all the labeling is the exact same uh, on all these products. You've got uh, the logo on the front there with the uh, with the actual uh, name of the company. You've got you know your ingredients, your scent profile. The scent profile that that uh, uh, Lather by Giordana has on their website and what they sent over to me was a tobacco vanilla. I do enjoy this scent profile. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of tobacco, but I think they did a really excellent job of you know toning back on the tobacco. Uh, if anything, I would probably say that this is more of a well. That's a smell from the bottle. Yeah, 
I would say it's uh, it's more of like a lighter tobacco smell. Uh, it's, it's very sweet actually, but it's also super tame. But then the vanilla, I think, is what, what I'm actually smelling more of. And I like it a lot. It, it does a really, really good job. It smells really nice, very manly, and uh, just perfect. Uh, good scent profile. The only thing that I had a concern about was, you know, the conditioner was really good. I really liked it a lot. Good consistency. Um, I really like the thickness of it. Um, but this wash, in my opinion, I just, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of it. I used about maybe like, you know, three or four times. And one thing that I noticed about it was that I found that it was just, um, it was a little too watery. And what I found from that was that maybe, because I'm just so used to using, you know, beard washes that have a little bit more of like a thicker kind of, you know, uh, viscosity to it. Um, for me, it just, I, I was a little bit, you know, it, 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 for me, it felt like more like it actually did more of like just like a restart for my beard. So again, I'm like, it's not like my everyday use type of beard wash. I would use this probably more kind of like as a, as like a restart to the week. So I probably use it like on a Monday that way, you know, I can just remember like, Hey, I, I restarted my beard. Um, I'm pulling away all like, you know, like the, the oils, the, you know, anything that's in my beard, I'm trying to strip this thing so that I can restart it, you know, just like fresh. So I found I did a really good job on that end. And again, if that doesn't really make a lot of sense, that's just the best way that I can try to explain it. I didn't feel like my, you know, after I used the beard wash, my beard felt so soft and so refreshed. I could just go on with the rest of my day. If anything, I felt like I had to add the conditioner and beard oil to my beard in order to make it feel softer and more refreshed. So that's my only thought on that. But, uh, but overall, I really, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the beard wash and the beard conditioner. Good stuff. The next thing that I have here is the, uh, is the beard butter. Now, in my opinion, I do not like this beard butter at all. Uh, the reason being is because of the actual consistency uh, of this product. Um, I just don't like it. I really found uh, it to be pretty disappointing in my opinion. The beard butter itself felt very tacky. Uh, and you know, as soon as you kind of, you know, stick your finger into it, uh, it's already way too soft. It feels tacky. Um, and then as you apply it into your beard, there's just something about it that I think is really affecting it. And the thing that I think that is affecting this beard butter, at least in my opinion, is that the first ingredient on this product is water. Now, I would not leave this in my beard uh, overnight. What I would what I will start to do in the future is probably use this as more of like a beard can like, you know, kind of like a, like a, a leave-in, not a leave-in conditioner, but like just like a, you know, a, a lotion or anything like that. Put it in my beard, let it sit for five minutes and then wash it out. Um, and then add, you know, like beard butter or, you know, some beard oil to my, to my beard after using it. But I was, I just wasn't impressed with this. I just, I was really hoping that this was going to be really good. Um, and I think honestly, my, my one critique that I give to it is, is eliminate the water and add another ingredient in there like mango butter or something like that. I just don't think water, you, you can't call it a beard butter with water in it because then it just becomes a lotion or like a cream or something like that. And I think that would just be one thing that I would change overall, like the scent smell great. Um, but yeah, the overall feel of it was not that great. And honestly, my wife, she saw me with it in my beard and she looked at it and I was like, what do you think? And she said, it just looks greasy. And again, that is just what we observe, what we saw, and how I also, when I was trying it out, I was just like, oh, this doesn't feel right. So those would be my only changes to that product itself. But overall, I think you guys are on the right start. Just make some changes there. But then the next product here that I was really excited about was the beard oil. And this is actually one of the things that I thought the beard butter could have had, was it could have had the same ingredients as the beard oil. The beard oil right here, this is a one ounce beard oil. And this guy right here, I really, really like this a lot and I'm going to continue on using this beard oil because it smells fantastic but it also has um, you know its ingredients is sunflower oil uh, castor oil coconut oil and then it has horsetail extract and then it has biotin in it now if you guys are unfamiliar with horsetail um, horsetail is basically it is a herb and this herb is really really good for um, you know creating you know 
healthier you know blood flow uh, you know throughout your scalp uh, it's really also good too for building you know better healthier hair follicles and so when you tag team that with the biotin that basically does the exact same thing promotes hair growth uh, and again I use biotin I use also I use like collagen stuff like that you guys don't have to you know buy you know gummies or anything like that you guys can simply go on Amazon and buy yourself some of this stuff right here which is from Jameson this is the biotin that I have I, I use one of these every single single day one tablet one tablet <laughs> one pill a day um or like the soft gels is what they call them this is ultra strength uh, ultra ultra cannot talk ultra strength and this is 10,000 mcg and then what i also do is i add two scoops of this guy right here which is a collagen and this guy right here is uh, an enhanced collagen. I also ordered this on Amazon. Again, this stuff right here is just really, really simple to use and to apply into your beard. I don't know if you guys can see it or not here. I'll just tone that down a bit so you guys can check it out. But again, this guy right here didn't cost me all that much on Amazon. It was fairly easy to you know order. And again, it's simple to apply into my beard. But I use all that kind of stuff to help with my beard hair. And again, I found it was really cool that a, a beard oil had biotin in it. I've never seen that before. So that was brand new for me. And I'm super, I was really impressed by that. It felt really great in the beard. Um, and honestly, out of all the products, I would probably put the beard oil number one for feeling beard and scent. Then I would go with the beard conditioner and the beard wash in third place, and then the beard butter in fourth place. Overall, I would say that I'm pretty impressed with this company for you know not only uh, creating some really you know um, some really decent uh, quality products, uh, but I'm also excited to see where these guys will take off. I really do hope that they you know really kind of you know with their beer products really you know kind of like what Aztec does with you know uh, you know the Mexican history and their and 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 uh, Jesus's you know culture. I really hope to see you know you know this company doing the very same thing you know taking the the vibrantness of Jamaica and applying that into uh, you know these products and I think overall I'm super excited to see more from these guys and I think that they've got a you know a great starter pack here and I'm excited to see where they're going to take off in the near future. I think you're definitely going to uh, enjoy you know the beard oil number one I think is really great but if you're looking for you know a decent beard wash and a, and a beard conditioner I really do think these guys have a lot to offer um, but that beard butter I think just needs some fine tuning and man it's going to be stellar uh, but overall super ecstatic about this and i've been enjoying the beard oil a lot and uh, looking forward to seeing more from these guys in the near future uh, i'm really looking to see if they can you know just come up with some more creative ideas uh really bring in some you know really great tropical scents and just oh man i'm super excited to see more of their culture being embraced in this uh in these beard products so uh super stoked for the future for these guys and i really do hope all the best for them and uh, man if you've ever tried this company before lather by giordana please throw in your comments in the comment section would love to hear what you guys think about this company if you want to try them out and you haven't already hopefully this video was helpful for you guys to go and check them out in the near future uh, but other than that that's pretty much all i have to say so i want to say thank you to giordana for sending over all these products here for me to try out and for me to test out and to continue on using and passing on to some friends and uh, seriously thank you so very much it has been an honor to do this and i'm so like i'm blown away guys that even this channel reached to other parts around the world so it, it's just so cool to me so thank you so very much uh, for watching this video and for taking time out of your busy day uh, to invest into this. Uh, until next time, guys, we will see you in the next review. Take care. God bless. And don't forget, guys, keep your stick on the ice and treat your beard to something nice. And we'll see you all in the next review. Cheers.